I thought this was supposed to be about stocks. Where? What's up, people? Back from the Depression Cave, where it all got started and where it all will probably come back to because that's what it's all about, right? Just you and I hanging out and trying to make some money out of this market. Okay, so where are we right now? So Jackson Hole, all we heard about was Jackson's Hole, Jackson Hole, Jackson Hole. It was like some new porn. It was more popular than two girls in one cup. And what did it do? It amounted to nothing, nothing at all. So now we're sitting around waiting for Europe to tell us what to do again. But in, in, in reality, all we're seeing right now is strength across the board in a market that eventually everybody will call the most hated bull moment we've had all year. The market just refuses to go down. But we've decided that we've found a nice pattern. If there's weakness in the morning, you buy it. I know, it's a really hard concept to come by. But we also have learned that you're not going to make money watching videos. You're not going to learn how to trade from watching videos. You're not going to do anything in this industry by watching videos except one thing. Finding your way where to learn, where to find like-minded individuals who are learning how to trade all collectively, throwing ideas out there. Yesterday, even in the face of the most boring, awful kind of day, we found a few things to squeak out a day's pay, and that's what it's all about. So forget about Jackson's Hole and the fiscal cliff. The fiscal cliff, that's what's coming next, right? That's all we're going to hear about. Who the hell is Cliff? Who the hell was Jackson and why was his hole so important? What do we care about the fiscal cliff? We don't. Because you know why? Because that morning when the fiscal cliff, we all start going over the fiscal cliff, is it going to be an instantaneous, oh, the market's at zero? No. You'll still be able to get out. So let me tell you, if the Qs ever break 67.50 and then 67.45 on increasing volume, we sell. Right now, you're a buck away. So you got nothing to worry about today. If there's something to worry about, you know what we'll be doing? We'll be selling then. Cash is king. I think you've heard this one now. Even though nobody's making money in cash, people are still putting their money in cash. Do you realize there's about $50 trillion on the sidelines? That's why if the market wants to go up, it could go up indefinitely. It's just we need some fear mongering. We need some frightening things to come out so we could buy the dip and then rally from there. The people in power know what they want. They want things to be cheaper so then they could buy them again. Do you know Goldman Sachs is out saying that you should be selling your stocks now, worrying about the fiscal cliff? There's articles being written about the fiscal cliff. Right now, somebody's writing something about the fiscal cliff, talking about how you got to get out of equities. You got to be protecting yourself right now, risk off and all that. Listen, risk off is here. People don't want to put their money in the market. It's just that they're forced to. That's why there's so much money on the sidelines. But here's the thing, guys. Just let me just make a few points before I go. The Thanos 43 channel. This channel you're watching right here, Thanos43, if you're watching it here, I'm not going to be putting videos here too much longer, probably on Friday. Please, hit the bid radio. That's all we're doing. It's a radio station. We broadcast every day, and everybody's doing pretty damn well. And again, I thank you for subscribing and keeping the Hit the Bid family intact. But I'm only going to be posting videos one place. So after Friday, we are going to be just running a video with crying traders and upset video uh, people that have just lost money in the market and to direct you to this, the other station. All right, running on too long, four minutes. I know the attention spans go eee! 